With the uh, seventh pick in the 2004 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Roy Williams, mm -hmm. wide receiver, University of Texas. Well, and you got to like the outfit of Roy Williams, Mike. He obviously I, I, knew you were here. I, I love the outfit. And it's just fitting because, like you said, they liked Roy Williams last year, so they finally get him this year. They get him, and they put him with Charles Rogers. And for a young quarterback like Joy Harrington, who has to step up and play this good, play well this year. All right, listen. I mean, well, let, let's talk about Roy for a minute, because many thought equal or higher than Fitzgerald. Last year, Detroit, with the second overall pick, took Charles Rogers, who was hurt. They're certainly giving Joey Galloway, uh, Joey Galloway, Joey Harrington, a heck of a chance to throw to people in his third year as a starter. No question. As Mort pointed out, the fact that Rivers jumped up, he was not one of that elite group that was number one on team sports. Roy Williams was, and they get him at seven for the Detroit Lions, put him opposite a big receiver like Charles Rogers. Now you get Roy at 6'2 and a half, 2'12. You're keeping in mind, this kid was a high jump standout. He was an excellent overall player at Texas, considering the fact that his numbers would have been better had it not been that conservative of offense and the fact that the quarterbacking this past year was below average when you talk about passing skills not the accuracy you're looking for but a spectacular talent as a sophomore at texas i did a top 30 for espn.com Thir top 30 college players any position any year they got surprised a lot of people i had roy williams as a sophomore number one took a lot of flack for it but i think when you look at roy williams even as a sophomore he was that good he didn't necessarily take it to the level expected because of the offense and because of the quarterbacking this past Last year, if he was in a sort of a pro style attack with a big time quarterback, his numbers would have been off the charts. Let me speak quickly to Matt Millen, who's been vilified as a general manager. His drafts have actually been better than you realize. But when he took over the Lions, he was so disappointed with the speed of this team that that has been his number one goal: increase the speed on both sides of the football. Charles Rogers last year, a sub four three forty guy. Well, Charles Rogers of Michigan State. Now here comes Roy Williams. I think Matt Millen is doing exactly what he set out to accomplish. And it's fine to have Roy Williams. I think yeah, he's equal to the number one player. Obviously, they may have had him number one, but keep in mind, this team has to run the football for Joey Harrington. They're going to so they they run it back. They need a running back. They have to obviously target that spot. Let Mike make his comment. I'm going to tell you where they're going to get. It, it,